Well, howdy folks, happy Sunday morning from the back porch. Got the diddly bow here, single stringer, and I'm about to do a classic old time song called Cluck Old Hen, you might know it. Super simple song, but I'm gonna do a quick performance of it and then I'm gonna teach you how I played it so you can play it on your own one string or two string or three string or whatever you want. It's called Cluck Old Hen, Sunday morning. My old hen is a good old hen, she lays eggs for the railroad man. Sometimes eight and sometimes ten, that's enough for the railroad man. Pluck old hen, pluck and sing, ain't laid an egg since late last spring. Well, pluck old hen, pluck and squall, ain't laid an egg since late last fall. My old hen, well she won't do, she lays eggs and taters too. Sometimes one and sometimes two and sometimes enough for the whole thing. There you go. So easy, easy song. Let me teach you how to play it. So I'm a, my diddly bow here is tuned to E, but it doesn't matter. So I'm tuned to an open E that's gonna make it in the key of A. If you're tuned to an open G, it's gonna be in the key of C. If you're tuned to an open A, it's gonna be in the key of D, so on and so forth. You get what I'm saying? So it doesn't really matter, but you're gonna use four different notes. Open string, third fret line, fifth fret line, 10th fret line. And I'm gonna call them O, three, five, ten for the sake of uh, ease today. Now, if you're playing on a fretted instrument, still the same thing. Fretless instrument, you use your slide. Fret instrument, you use the fret. Same thing. All right. Here's your strumming pattern. So easy. That's your strumming pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, if you see some of my other lessons, you know I always count seven as sev because if you count seven, you want to go seven, and you don't want to do that. You just want one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's your strumming pattern. Now, two riffs that you need to know. The first riff goes like this: five, 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 ten, ten, five, 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 oh, oh, five, five. Let me do it slower. Five, 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 ten, ten, five, 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 oh, oh, five, five. All right. Second riff is almost the same, just slightly different. Five, 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 three, three, five, 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 oh, oh, five, five. Again. Five, 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 three, three, five, 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 oh, oh, five, five. Now what you do for the song is you play the first riff twice and then the second riff twice. So it's gonna sound like this. That's the jam, folks. The one other thing you need to know between the verse, excuse me, between the chorus and the verse, you play eight fives. And that just gives you a second to catch your breath before you go back in. And then at the very beginning, you play 16 fives. To kind of lead it off. So just one other thing you can do to kind of embellish is every once in a while, you can leave off the eighth note of the riff. So whether you're doing the, the first riff or the second riff, they end this way. And every once in a while, you can end it like this. Just leave off that last note. It just gives it a little different feel. Now go back and watch the performance again and you'll see exactly what I did. Thanks for tuning in. That was your performance and lesson. Back porch not included.